Okay, project of the day. Um, I want a cover for the back piece of the uh, deck here and the side pieces, so I've, um, I've gone ahead and, and cut out a, a piece, and I just got done with the, uh, the jigsaw and I traced and cut out my piece. Let's go see. Uh, let's go see how well this is going to fit. Let's put it up on our boat. originally had a very small cover you can actually still see the holes for them had a couple cup holders but usually there wasn't anything but one single battery there I've got a lot more infrastructure now so I wanted a cover that looks like it's gonna be just about perfect so now I'll have a nice new cover here and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do I want to have this with hinges so I can lift it up and down and then fasten it down and I'm gonna I have I think I have plenty of vinyl left over I'll put a vinyl cover on it should look pretty good uh, almost factory so that'll give me a cover to protect the well protect the, uh, the switch extra protection for the batteries the motor I, I made it short enough the motor should clear when it tilts um, if it doesn't I have other problems because it'll be hitting the batteries I put this right up against the wall I haven't been able to check that I'm just assuming it'll fit I think it will. Uh, so that'll be good, and it will uh, not only provide a cover, but you know, once I get my cover back here for the fuel tank, and I get the uh, live well back in, this will this will make an additional place you can sit or stand or, or whatever. Um, so it's it's not just dead space, which is which is what it was before. I haven't bought a table for the for the pontoon yet, so it'll also act as it's kind of a table back here. And I actually, in, in thinking about it as a table, I think I still want to put the vinyl on it. Um, I have the vinyl. I don't know what else to do with it. I originally was going to put it on these pieces, but didn't have enough to do what I wanted. But I think I do for this. So maybe we'll still wrap it in vinyl. Um, I'm still contemplating how I'm going to do the hinge. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to, now that I really think about it, I'm tempted, tempted just to put hinges here and leave this as a solid piece. I was going to... I actually had the piano hinge. I was going to cut this across, have a mounting board, and then a flip-up lid. But the more I look at this, the more I think maybe I'll just do this with single hinges. Perhaps on here. Let's see about how I could, could maybe do that. Um, but, uh, well, one thing at a time. I'll, I'll work my way through it and figure out what I think is best as far as that goes. Okay, that's it for now. So I've been in the process here of making a lid for the back of uh, the back of the pontoon. Take this off. See how we did here. This board may actually be useful on another boat. Let's get it out of the way for now. It may become an extra transfer board. So I did my cutouts. Get this stuff off of there. And last night I glued on my board. So this is actually this is this is glued on. Tonight I'm gonna cut this and do a fold over and staple them. And I'm gonna I'm gonna edge glue it and I'll glue it here. And that's gonna become my lid for the stern. going to cover everything up back at the stern and it'll, it'll serve again as a cover, keep the batteries covered, keep the switch covered, keep the fuel filter covered and also give a, an extra place to stand if we want. I thought about, I thought about putting holes in it for cup holders which you know, originally there was a very small piece back there and that's exactly what they did. I looked, I finally found a uh, brochure for this boat and that's what they had done but I I guess I could do that at any time, so I think for now I'm going to leave that as a solid piece. I did order a uh, cam lock, twist lock, lock port so I can hold the front down. There's there's a lip. Walk back here. There, 
there is a, you know, the, the rail does come here, so there's no reason I can't put a twist lock, cam lock right here. It'll hold the lid down. Um, and I think the system I'm, I'm working out here is going to work just fine. Let's go ahead and turn my batteries on here. Still keeping my charger on it. So, if I can get that done tonight and then zip tie a bunch of wires, tidy a few things up, put the, num the registration numbers on, I'm ready to pull the boat out. You go power wash it, clean it all up. And I, I had a goal all along here that by the end of March this, this boat would be in the water and that would be Saturday. So I got three days to get everything, the last of everything done and get this boat ready and in the water. And I'm, I think I'm going to make it unless, you know, unless anything goes on between now and then. I do have the covers back on now. Um, I, I'm, I'm hoping by Thursday, Friday, I'm taking this boat, filling it up with fuel. When I go to take it out to power wash it, I'll hook the muffler up to the, uh, to the motor and I'll start it again. It was pumping good water last time, so I'm going to take a chance that the impeller's still okay. Uh, it seems weak when I take it out. Actually, on the water, I'll, I'll change it. Um, but for now it seems alright, so time to press on.